you know, there's a lot of layoffs going on around the country. But one thing that's booming are gig workers. So layoffs, recession fears spur some companies to hire more gig economy workers. So I guess if you're looking for that kind of work, you may have a good chance of getting it now. An uncertain economy and widespread tech industry layoffs are accelerating a shift to gig work as more companies bring contractors instead of full-time workers, according to recent surveys and staffing officials. Tech giants such as Amazon, Twitter, Meta, laid off about 161,000 employees in 2022 and 120,000 so far this year, according to layoffs.fyi, which tracked job cuts in the industry. At many of the companies, contractors were among the first to let go. Since they didn't receive severance payment, and their layoffs generated less negative publicity. Now, however, firms are regrouping and bringing on contractors and consultants to handle projects previously done by full-time employees, staff executives say. It gives them the flexibility to go up and down in their workforce without the commitment, says Steve Brady senior vice president at um, experts staffing company. So they're saying so far this year, the number of full-time employees recruited has fallen while contractor placements have increased. About four in 10 companies have recently laid off workers, hiring contractors to replace them, according to a January survey. U.S. Business Leaders by Resume Builder. Most of the executives say the strategy, at least in part, is intended to save money. Yeah, you can best believe these workers, these gig workers are getting far less than their full-time people they laid off. And in the next six months, 52% of business leaders say at least some full-time employees will be um, moved to contract roles. According to the survey, companies can bring on contractors, freelancers, and other gig workers for specific projects and then let them go when the work dries up, saving money if the economy slows or slips into a recession, which most experts are forecasting this year. I think we're already in a recession. Uh, contractors also typically don't receive health care coverage and other benefits. Many employees, meanwhile, like the flexible hours and freedom to work for multiple businesses or hop from one to another, providing a more diverse work experience without being tethered to a single employer, staffing officials say. So many workers are feeling disillusioned with traditional full-time employment. 74% of knowledge workers in the field, such as science, tech, engineering, and finance, said the recent tech layoffs have made freelance work more attractive, according to a November survey by Fast Company, a business magazine. 66% said they've lost trust in stability of full-time employment. Yeah, you know, and and plus, many of these um, tech giants, they don't care about you. You could be there for years and years, and then when they decide to do a layoff, they don't care. They'll just let you go. They don't care. So... All right, so they're talking about how the upside is people that want a gig kind of job. It should be very easy to get now. It's going to be a lot easier to get a gig job opposed to a full-time job. 
And there are companies that are offering a year long gig that gave the company the ability to take a chance on, you know, people that are just looking to be gig workers. So you can get a gig that lasts for a year or longer. As a result, some people that are into doing gig work, they said they're getting multiple offers to do different gigs now. Are gig jobs uh, growing? They're saying yes, they're growing sharply in the recent years. So uh, companies such as Uber and DoorDash, they use gig workers. And the pandemic has stoked the trend while uh, many workers preferred the flexibility of a gig worker to sometimes care for sick children and relatives, or especially if they have kids at home, it just makes life easier to do a gig work because you don't really have to leave your house. Contractors, temporary workers, and freelancers make up 22% of large company staffs up to 16% a decade ago, according to a survey of big firms by staffing industry analysis. Another decade, gig workers are expected to comprise of 28% of large company staffs, the research firm says. So it look like that's the direction they're going in. Many workers in hospitality, manufacturing, and warehouse have shifted to gig work, according to Alex Atwood, a founder of Gravy Work, which connects gig workers to employers. Among small businesses, contractors comprise of one of every five workers, up from one in 10 just five years ago. Many small firms plan to hire contractors because they fear a recession could undercut sales. So, you know, they're using all kinds of excuses. They're using Russia war with Ukraine, volatile oil prices, chip shortages, and other developments for turning to these gig workers opposed to hiring full-time and part-time people. You know, any excuse, you know how they are, y'all. But please tell me what you think and let me know if you are a gig worker and let me know what you think about it in the comment section. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.